everybody. Welcome back. We have spent the last couple of weeks going over different aspects of the software vMix. We're going to continue that today by looking at vMix Call. Let's start out by going ahead and explaining what vMix Call is. vMix Call is a video call function embedded in vMix. It allows you to send out a link to someone and they click on it and it connects their webcam and their microphone, thus becoming just another regular input for vMix. And you can use it like it's a local camera. This allows you to use their computer's microphone and camera as if it were a local camera in the room. Anything you can do to a local camera or a local input, you can do to the vMix call input. So let's go over some reasons this will be helpful. One would be it's an easy configuration. Again, you're bringing it in just like you're bringing in a local capture card, a local camera, a video, a still image, everything else that you bring into vMix, this behaves the exact same way. It allows for what I like to call assigned seating, where it's its own input that stays exactly where it is and you can put it wherever you want versus being a part of a Zoom call that has two to nine to more individual boxes for everyone. And then you have to, you have to use a lot of cropping and figure out where they are and then, and then put that where you want it to be if that's a different place. And if someone logs out, everything shifts over with vMix call. You don't have to worry about doing any of that le legwork. You still get to build everything before you get there as well, because you know exactly where everyone's gonna, going to be. So it allows you to tag lower thirds and that type of thing. With this as an aspect of vMix, if you're already running everything else on your show through vMix, it keeps everything into one software suite. You don't have to be bouncing between a Zoom call and then pushing that Zoom call to a go-to webinar or vice versa. Everything stays the same. And you can push it to things like GoToWebinar, Zoom, Microsoft Teams, and others. Let's talk about negatives. Probably one of the biggest negative would be you are limited to just eight vMix calls. And that's if you buy the most expensive version. There's also no desktop capture or desktop share. So if someone wants to present their own PowerPoint on their own computer, they can't do that. Well, they can. It's in beta and it has not been officially released yet, but we're gonna take a look at that today and see how well that works. So going off our last couple of videos where we talked about using a stream deck with vMix, making triggers and using triggers in conjunction with a stream deck button, we're gonna backload this video onto all of those. So I'm gonna skip over making some of the shortcuts and then assigning some of the buttons. If you're curious as to how to use vMix with a Stream Deck or how to properly use triggers, I'll put links in the description to those videos that I've already done. So let's go to the computer. The way you do this in vMix is you go to vMix call. You're telling it that you're gonna host the call. It creates a password or a link. You tell it some basic information, what you want them to see on their end, what bandwidth you want to use and whether audio source is coming in and you click OK. Now on their end, type in my name and join the call. So it automatically activated my webcam. So this here is what I am broadcasting to vMix and then this is what vMix has in its main output. That's what it looks like on the attendees end. So if we go back here, this is what it looks like in vMix. And once I'm here, I can do all the normal things. So it is literally just another input on my vMix and that's all. If I need to send a text to all of my vMix call members, I can actually just, if I right click on any of them and open call manager, this gives me a lot of information. It gives me the link, the dedicated link, as well as the password. And this is the functioning chat that we can send to everybody. It also tells me when someone has turned on and off their microphone and when they have disconnected. 
I will say another pro is if you are trying to do a hybrid show, you can attach your A10 Mini Pro or any other video switching device, use a capture card, bring it into vMix, and now you have local cameras just like this one. I'm bringing this in through my Blackmagic, and I can have four cameras running through this, and my Mini Pro is my local switch, and that just feeds right in, and we just keep, and it's just another input. We're going to go into fast forward montage mode and I'm going to go ahead and build a show with a couple different looks with a couple different remix calls and I'm going to organize it out the way I would a normal show. Fast forward. Go. Okay, so let me explain to you what I've just done in slow motion. So we have all of these things. And before I get too far, if you want to make it turn sideways so it doesn't take up as much space, you right click on it. That's all you do, just right click. So there are color categories. And what I did is black is the main that'll have everything. And the red is my section one. So I have the presenters that are just for that section. I have their name title cards. And then I have any videos that I need to play during that section. Green would be section two. Same thing. Presenter, the presenter VMix calls and their lower thirds. Yellow is my section four. And the reason you do this Oh, I only made one. I, yeah, I only made one VMix call because I was out of VMix calls. So the reason you do this is because if you go back to this, you're left with a lot of things, and that can be kind of overwhelming. So you do it by section. Now I would also probably let you know what I need to do this. I need to put this in red as well because that's going to be my main look. So this video is about as long as I want it to be this week. What I didn't get done today, we're going to do next week. And that will be finishing up how to do screen share. That will be going over the different things that you can push this to. Go to go to meeting, go to webinar, um, teams, and how to do that as well. If you got to this point, thank you for staying till the end. Thank you for watching. As always, please hit the subscribe button if you already haven't. Go ahead and click that bell um, to get reminders and give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. Leave me a comment. Tell me how I'm doing this right. Tell me that this is informative. Tell me that I'm an idiot. Doesn't matter. Just give me some feedback um, so I can help improve what I'm doing here. So see you next week where we wrap this up.